I'm going to show you the uh, how you have to submit the first two experiments. Okay, so uh, I will be putting up uh, experiment number one and two uh, for you to submit. Okay, so I will show you the uh, exact way of how you have to submit both the assignments. Okay, the first assignment is installation of uh, ZAMP, WAMP, etc. Okay. So how to do that, how to do the submission for that and how to uh, submit the uh, second experiment that is create a basic website using HTML. Okay. So till now, whatever we have covered in HTML using that, okay, you have to create a website, which is basically going to be a profile page for you. Okay. So basically it is a web resume for your profile okay so uh, you can take reference from your uh, resume okay you can start building up your resume and uh, you can uh, you can find out what all things you will write in your resume and that you have to put it inside a website and uh, you know um, design it using pure html no css okay so that will be our second experiment and Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can host it uh, onto a particular website. Okay, so let us begin. So let's begin fresh. Okay, so the first title is to install ZAMP, WAMP, uh, LAMP or laragon anything okay so i am using here laragon if you want to use something else like zamp or map it is your choice okay so uh, the steps i will again repeat laragon you go to laragon site okay laragon.org mm. Okay, I went to Laragon site and uh, I can go to download and I can download the portable version. Okay, I can download the portable version and once it is downloaded, you can unzip it and you can open your, you can put it anywhere. I usually uh, don't put it uh, in the, I do not put it in the C drive where my OS is. Because if the C drive crashes, then everything goes right. So I usually put it somewhere other than C drive. So I have put it in, I think F drive. Yes. So I F drive and because it is Laragon portable, you can create multiple copies of the same, um, this thing. And uh, this is my actually development. Uh, you can see all my projects here. And this is uh, the other one. Laragon test is what I use for, you know, showing the demos of uh, some websites. Okay, so like it's just for testing purpose. Okay, so I will show it in this. Both are the same thing. Okay, so what you have to do is just double click on laragon.exe. And once you have this, uh, the thing that you have to do is uh, uh, by default, it is having PHP 5.4.9 for us. That is fine. Right now, we are not interested in anything else. Okay we are not working on php so the version does not matter right now so once that is done all i have to do is click on start okay so but before doing start you have to come to www this is part of your experiment okay so you have to right click and create a new folder called uh, uh, let's say whatever is your first name so my name i will put it as shiburaj okay so that should be the folder of your web page okay then you can click on start okay so by default it uses nginx and not apache okay so laragon portable uses nginx and mysql okay so now if you go to menu and click on preferences you can see that auto virtual host is enabled okay so this feature is only in laragon so uh, if virtual host uh, uh, are by default disabled in ZAMP, so you have to enable it. 
So that is the advantage of using Laravel. So this is already enabled. So you can see the domain by which uh, this website will be live is the name of the folder dot test. Okay. So my name of the folder is Shiburaj. So my website access will be with the from the domain Shiburaj dot test. Okay. So if I just open that over here, Shiburaj dot test. And if I enter, you can see my page opens. Okay. But unfortunately, there is nothing. So I can just right click and open in Visual Studio code. And create a HTML file called index.html. Write some simple code. Okay. After writing some simple code, I will write Shiburaj. Okay. Press save and come back. And this is your website live. Okay. So now what you have to do is you have to take a screenshot of this. Okay. Uh, uh, I sh I want to see this domain on your browser. Okay. And then uh, some content here. Okay. So this screenshot has to be uploaded as experiment number one. Okay. Along with uh, this particular screenshot. Okay. So uh, uh, you have to upload uh, basically two files. One is the uh, screenshot of uh, this. Okay. So it should be like this. Okay. So yeah, you can take a screenshot like this. Okay. So if you if you have if you are using uh, windows for screenshot, then there is a snip uh, something called a snipping tool. Okay, you can use that. But I use something called as green shot. Okay. So you can download it. Uh, it is a very good software and uh, you, you, you can see how it works. Okay, if I just press control shift and print screen, it generates this. Okay, then I can just drag it. And now it gives me what things to do. Okay, so save directly or open in image editor. Okay, uh, copy to clipboard, etc. So I will do save directly. And as soon as I do that, you can see the screenshot is saved in my desktop. Okay. So this is one screenshot that you have to upload. And the second screenshot is of this. Okay, so again, I will take a screenshot and that's it okay so there will be two screenshots one of the uh, this is for the domain okay and another is for the laragon okay so these two screenshots you have to upload in experiment number one okay so that will finish uh, the first one so second experiment yes. is simple it's continuation to the first one okay so first in the first one you have created this right so uh, this file index.html so in the second one all you have to do is continue from here. Okay. So you have to create your profile page. Okay. So basically what I am thinking you can be completely, you know, uh, it's up to you. Okay. So what I am thinking is first, there will be my image. Okay. Then below that uh, in H1, there will be my name, full name. Then below that maybe uh, H3 or H4, I can have my designation or something uh, or uh, you can have your pursuing bachelors of engineering from computer branch whatever, or you can have one paragraph of about yourself. Okay. Then you can have a table of, uh, you know, your uh, result or something. Then you can have uh, a list list items uh, for your, you know, skill set, what all skills you have. Then you can have uh, something for your, uh, projects that you have done till now. Okay. Maybe your uh, second year mini project or in, in any subjects you have done some mini project first year you have done some mini project. So all that those things can be done uh, can be written. Okay. And uh, like that, I want to see some creativeness in your uh, web page, what all things you can do. Okay. Now only one thing to note is uh, I don't want any CSS uh, in the core in the page because uh, this complete second experiment is based on pure HTML. Okay. So with pure HTML, what all things you can do, you can do it. Okay. So like, for example, if somebody thinks of using uh, BG color in background. Okay. So that is fine. Okay. Uh, uh, you can use any type of uh, background 
color for you, but it should not be done using CSS. Okay, it should everything should be done using uh, pure HTML and its attributes, not using style tag. Okay, the style tag or CSS should not be used for styling your entire page. Okay, so that is one thing um, you should uh, see to it that because this is the first uh, experiment where you are actually going to write some code. So here uh, you have to keep in mind that this is only based on HTML and not on CSS. Okay. So in the third experiment, that is what we are going to see how to convert this page into a beautiful page using CSS along with HTML. Okay. So that will, uh, you know, I want to see the same page redesigned in a different way using CSS. Okay. The content should be same. So basically this three experiments are going to be one after the other. Okay. So the first experiment, you are going to continue into the second experiment where you are going to create a profile page only using HTML. Then in the third one, you are going to use the same HTML, but you're going to add CSS to it. So that will create the third experiment. Okay. So any doubts still here? I will upload uh, a sample HTML, uh, my profile as a H pure HTML, you can, you can refer that, but it should not look anything like that. Okay. So everything should, uh, everybody should come up with a new idea of how you will uh, represent your, uh, your content so, or what all things you have about yourself. Okay. So uh, you may be good in sports. You may be good in something else. You, your hobbies may be slightly different. Okay, so there are lots of things that you can do. Uh, you can find out about yourself and that I want to see in your in your page. Okay, and also uh, um, if you have some uh, other things like uh, you have uh, coder ranks. Okay, like uh, if you have um, like, for example, I will show you my website. Okay, so you can see uh, I have added this particular snippet uh, of uh, a coder rank score. Okay, so you can do that. Okay, you can uh, create an account over there and find out what is your rank in the coder, coder coding world. Okay, so you can find out that. Now this depends completely on uh, GitHub. How much work do you do in GitHub? Based on that, your rank is calculated. Okay, so. Uh, so you can find out how much, what is your rank, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So all these things you can do and, uh, but obviously, uh, CSS need not be used. Okay. So it should be only, so I want to see what innovative, uh, content you are going to put inside, uh, your profile. Okay. Any doubts still here? Okay. Uh, okay. So, okay. Amina Kazi is asking. Yes. Uh, Amina, very good question. Uh, I, I would prefer using visual studio code for all those who are having computers with them. Okay. If you do not have, uh, and if you can do it using code pen, then that is good. Okay. Again, uh, I cannot force you to uh, do this experiments because I know many of you may not be having computers with them. Okay. So you can try to do it with code pen. Okay. So I will just show you that. Okay. Uh, so I have opened code pen. Okay. And uh, here I have it will be like this at the beginning. You can just drag it and take it to the side because we don't want these two things right now. We are working only on HTML. Okay. And here you can uh, start typing your code and uh, I would suggest you to create a account on this and then you start typing your pen. Okay. So once that is done, you can then click on it. So click the save button. So as soon as you do this, so basically it is the same thing that comes up over here, the URL, or you can come down over here and there is a small button now called share. 
you can copy the link and this link you can uh, submit it in Moodle. Okay. So uh, if you if you want to do it like that, then you can do it uh, in that way. Okay. Uh, that is one option. All those who do not have a computer, they have to do that. Okay. Uh, you have to use code pen for this. Okay. So once you save it, then you will get this link. Okay. So you can come down over here, click share, copy link, and that link can be pasted. Okay. All those who have computer and all those who know GitHub. Okay. And you have GitHub account. We'll be using GitHub for that. Okay. So how to do that? I will quickly, I have around nine minutes left. I will just show you how you should do it. Okay, so uh, what you have to do first is you have to create on click on this plus symbol, create a new repository, and you can say WDL experiment number two. Okay, so you can use this naming convention if you want. Okay, and after this, you can create a public uh, repository, and uh, you can give any description. And create a repository. Okay. So once this is done, you should keep this page ready. And uh, now let's suppose this is my final website, Shiburaj Papu in Okay. And below I will have an image tag with images download okay so this is my final page if i go back to my website you can refresh and you can see let's suppose this is my profile page okay i am done okay so now i am ready to submit my experiment so what you have to do is go back to your folder where your project is okay so shiburaj is the folder right click okay or you can do git bash or if you are in visual studio code then you don't have to worry about going anywhere you just open the terminal okay so you can click over here and you can click new terminal or you can press control plus uh, tilde symbol okay the, the the key that is below escape okay so control plus tilde will open the terminal okay so once it is open you just have to do git in it dot okay so which will create a repository over here then do git add git commit first commit okay my commit is done now come back to my github repo where i want to submit okay so you can see what are the comments for existing repository okay so for existing repository, I will just copy these three commands, copy it, paste it over here. Then the second command, copy, paste it over here and the third command. Okay. So third command is to push the contents. Okay. So paste it and push. If you are already logged in, it will not ask for anything else. It will directly upload. If you're not logged in, it will ask for login. Okay. So once this is done, that's it. I'm uploaded. Now, if I refresh this, you can see my repo is done. My index.html is done. Images folder is done. Everything is done, right? But this is not what I want. Okay. What I want is you to go to settings and come down. And if you go down, you will find this section, which is called GitHub pages. Okay. By default, it is disabled. So you just have to click on over here, none and select the branch, which you want to publish. Okay. So I am going to select master. And if you have certain directory that you want to publish, then uh, you can select that directory, but I am going to select root and click save. Okay. As soon as I do that. Okay. If I go back down now to the GitHub pages, it shows you the website to which it is published. Okay. It will take around five to 10 minutes sometimes. Okay. But it takes some time to publish, but once it is done. Okay. So let us just wait for a little while.
okay so it takes a little while to get published okay so once uh, your website is published because now this your repository will be shifted to their github.io web uh, web server okay so it takes a little time to get published but once that is done your website will be live okay and that link you have to submit as the experiment okay so both of the these things you can do okay either you can use code pen to do that and generate the link of the final output or you can use github pages and get the link this link and you can submit that okay so this is these are the two ways you can uh, you know uh, basically publish your static websites it's very easy to publish i will show you one more way there are actually many ways but uh, another you know very popular it's called netlify.com okay so here also you can create your uh, website okay so i think uh, one or two projects are free of cost okay so uh, i don't have an account in this because uh, as such i have not uh, because i have not used it personally but it is uh, very simple uh, uh, you can just create an account then create a project and then all you have to do is come over here right click and uh, create a zip file of this okay once you create a zip file drag and drop onto netlify that's it and your project will be live okay so it is that simple if you use netlify but uh, i will not prefer you uh, prefer uh, you all to use this because this is you know very simple um we will see different methods uh, when we reach php part where how to uh, deploy servers all these things we will learn okay so these are just you know for beginners to uh, host static websites okay now github is very nice because they allow us to deploy static pages very efficiently okay on their servers so that that's why i like whenever i want to publish some static pages i use this okay any doubts uh so so for every platform the servers are different so you cannot uh, use uh, python in github okay so you can store the code but uh, that will not be hosted okay so only static pages only html css and javascript pages can be hosted in uh, github okay for others we have to find different solutions i will show you all those solutions later once we progress okay uh, no no you can you can save the code in github but uh, that will not be published okay it will not work python code will not run in github server okay so okay uh, i think uh, we are done for today uh, i will put up uh, links to submission uh, submitting the experiments okay thank you everyone see you next week